perfect conditions, smooth, onshore winds around 12 to 25 miles per hour and sunny. This is the power kite enthusiast, Nathan Andrews. He has been an avid kiter for several years. His kiting skills include static kiting, kite boarding and kite buggying, and one day would like to become a professional in this rare adrenaline filled sport. Hello, my name is Nathan Andrews. I am a BMS. Oh, God sake, I don't even know what I am. What am I? I'm just a production engineer and that is it. I'm trying to make it sound cooler. No, can't do that really, can we? Okay. Hello, my name's Nathan Andrews. I am a production engineer for BMS Engineering and I like to kite. I first got into kiting uh, back when my mate had a kite. I used it a couple of times with him down the field. I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd get into it and enjoy it myself. I have a flex four iron 12.5, eight and a half, uh, blade four, four meter, 1.8 meter rage. I got a custom tramper deck. I've also got a flexi buggy with custom belly pan. That's about it. If I was given the opportunity to choose a kite, I would probably go for a fly surfer purely the fact because I've had a go on one as a demo and they were just amazing. Definitely a bit more power in the kite now. Yeah. Whoa! Holy shit, I have done this before. <laughs> Whoa! I power a kite at Clevedon, Western Supermare, uh, Breen, I can I used to go to Westwood Ho. That's about it. That's all my kite oh uh, hangstones, but I don't want to particularly say that. <laughs> it doesn't sound cool. I could be really nasty here. Right, okay. I'm part of a club called SWAT K. Southwest Association with Kiting. The only reason I'm with them is because basically you had to have a license and they were the best social community that I could find. A kiting license enables a kiter to power kite on beaches and also it is a requirement that they wear a helmet when using a mountain board or a kite buggy.
I've had two bad accidents. One was involving uh, me going flying and hitting my back, and then I injured my back, obviously. I was off kiting for about four weeks. I also sprained my ankle, chipped a bone in it. I was probably off five weeks then. That's probably it. <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> I like kiting because of the adrenaline and it's just such a good sport and the fact is that the community and all the people you kite with, they're all friendly, everyone gets along and it's just nice. In the future I want to go into a competition but as work stands at the moment I don't think that's going to happen. To get started with this extreme sport, you'll need some specialist equipment, such as a harness, a helmet, a mountain board, or buggy, and of course, a power kite. <laughs> 